all of these items here were listed in the last few days and sold already and that's how we want to keep doing it all q4 we want to be listing stuff and selling it straight away we don't want stuff to hang about we want to sell it straight away get out the door get the money back in and reinvest it we've had 40 sales over the weekend so it's time to get them picked and time to get them packed i'll show you everything that's sold on my store but i'll start with this one here thundercats accessory from the 80s sold for 125 pounds Mental. What a flipping sale that was. I think it's the hand that sells it though. It's just such a nice hand, isn't it? Panda Mum? I've told John, because he's doing loads of photo shots now and he's eBay on his knuckles, and he said he actually may get one. Get, get an eBay tattoo there, like that, boom. So it'd be like great in the photo, wouldn't it? <laughs> so yeah, £125 for that little hammer shot. So like I said, all this stuff was listed in the last week. Um, so it's not even been skewed yet. So I've literally just picked it off off the floor off all of these rails they've not been skewed yet so this is literally all been listed over the last couple of days sold quick as you like and that's how we want to keep it this q4 a lot of people have been asking what q4 is in the comments it's just the fourth quarter so in like business terms you've got the first second third and fourth quarter the fourth quarter is like thanksgiving time christmas time Halloween. yeah so you've got all the important present giving times so a lot more sales hopefully so the rest of the sales will be in these boxes, on these racks, and we're going to go through every sale. I'll tell you what I paid, what we got for it, and we'll try and find them. So I'm going to start with the items on the table, which weren't skewed. So yeah, first sale, we've got this RC model kit, Ferrari. We got this off the car boot for three quid, and we sold it for 19 99 Next one is Ferrari F50, Tamiya model. It's all brand new on the inside. This one came from that big vintage bundle, if anyone remembers. Probably owes us, well, it's all straight profit now because we got profit on the Star Wars bits. But it on the actual bundle, it owed us about a tenner. We sold that for £35. We sold Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, big box PC version, for £30. That came from Cody in the big old deal. And so did the Thundercats hammer as well. Another piece from that big Essex deal was this Miami Dolphins like Transformer looking dude. He sold for £30. Next sale is this Sony micro cassette um, set there. Very cute, isn't it? Is that real? Like tiny little cassettes. Do they work? Yeah. Or is it a toy? No, it's real. Look at how small you are. What do they put them in? Two tiny radios? Yeah, little cassettes. You've got a whole family here, haven't you? Sweetie, Saint, Snow, Schnitz, and Soap. The fam. Um, so yeah, £20 for that. Paid a couple of quid, so decent. Look out for them. Next one, we've got PlayStation TV. We sold that for £70. This came from a big bundle from James. So yeah, if you don't know, I do buy big collections um, at like a 30% rate. So if anyone's got any collections they want to get rid of and they don't sell online or whatnot, reach out, get in touch. And um, yeah, good little sale that. I actually never knew this was a thing. That you can use your PS Vita with it as well, which is... Epic. I believe this was a subscriber sale, uh, Richard, because someone used my 15% discount on it. So they got it for £25, 49p. Um, so yeah, shout out to Richard if you are watching. Um, but other than that, nice sale. Next sale is Phone Jacker, Face Jacker, Complete Series 1 to 2. Never watched it, heard good things. Um, I actually didn't realise the value of this. I normally pick up Obscure Sealed Media anyway, and it sold for £39.99. Pretty quick as well, so... Look out for that one. Next up, couple seasons of Yellowstone. So we've got season three, season four. Another series that I've not actually watched, but I've heard very good things. Um, £10.44 for season four, £10.99 for season three. These came off the car boot with recently sold season five, part one. Um, and then we sold another DVD as well, which we got in the same bundle. So yeah, these were like two... 50 each on the car boot, um, or like two quid each. He wanted a little bit more because they were newer stuff. But again, easy money, quick sales. Next one, shout out to Josh. Transformers Last Night Steelbook, real nice steelbook. Josh picked it up for 10 99 so appreciate you. Just started reselling himself, so best of luck on your journey. And um, enjoy the film as well. And there's the confirmation on that one. So yeah, good luck, mate. Next up, we price these Hot Wheels cars really competitively. Um, again, these came from James in that big collection buy. Um... Mystery Machine, sold for £9.99. Um, as you can see there, we've got Knight Rider for £19. And then the Back to the Future DeLorean for £12.99. So yeah, that's them three there. They're not like amazing, amazing condition. If there was like real, real mint on the card, you might get a little bit more. But I just thought, nice competitive price. Get them gone quick. And um, yeah, they've sold. Oh, having a cup of tea, are we? That's a big old one as well. Yeah. 
<laughs> Next sale is this Sheldon Entertainment Earth exclusive. Good old old school Funko. Is it a Funko? Yeah, yeah, that's what they was like. They were like wacky, Ooh, wacky they're, wobblers. They're like, not like they are now, they're like realistic looking. Yeah, they, 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 it's a different line. So like, this is before they made Pops. I think they crossed over a little bit, but... The question is, would you... Now you, now you, you know you've got panda tattoos on you. Would you ever have a Funko style tattoo? Mm, nah. Me. Have you? Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, £20. £20 for that. <laughs> I would not get a tattoo with you. <laughs> <laughs> not joking. Off, but behind the camera, I was like... <laughs> 20 quid for Sheldon, anyway. 20 quid. Star Wars Imperial Shadow Squadron. This set's epic. Uh, box isn't brilliant, but again, got a quick sale on that. 79.99. That came from the collection bout. So I sold another one of these Bush Freeview boxes. I think it's got 500 gig on it or 320 gig on it. Um, I always pick these up for like a fiver in the car boots and stuff. As you can see there, sold for 59.99. That one sold the other day, 49.99. And then this one here, $59.99, the same one, I think. Yeah. So, literally, it's not even got an HDMI port. It's an old school SCART one. And it still sell for real good money. Now, this one shocked me. The new great book of Corgi. Yeah. Real nice book. Like, it retailed at £45. So, yeah, it's a nice pricey book. Anyway, listed it this weekend, sold. Listed it for 100 sold for £89.99. But when I picked it up, I didn't realise the actual value it had. Um, I just thought, you know, it looks like a quality book. But £89.99, I think, think that. That's the highest it's sold for as well. Um, I think the previous one was 60 So I've upped, the, uh, I've upped the market price on that one. But yeah, real, real happy with that. Definitely look out for that one. There's two versions of it as well. This, this is the new great book. There is just the great book of Corgi, which is worth a bit more, I think. So... Look out for that. Nice, quick, easy one. Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. Large letter. Both in little um, sleeves like that. Sold for $13.99. And then the last of the non-skewed stuff. Monopoly Metallica. Collector's Edition. Real nice one. Got this off vintage for like six, seven pound. And it was sold for $34.99. These two clothes pieces were photographed by Charlotte on Friday. Listed by me on Friday and Saturday. And also sold over the weekend as well. So this Sergio Tacchini t-shirt, real nice. And this all Achille, or Kylie, regatta coat. So yeah, decent. So look out for these patterns. Just a regatta coat, but still, sold it for £32. We paid about 8 on the car boot for that, we paid up, but still, good money. And then shout out to Sean, who picked up the Sergio t-shirt. I'm not sure where I got this from, or how much I paid for it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, nice t-shirt. It was listed at forty ninety nine. Sean used the John Luke fifteen code, which gets you fifteen percent off on the store. It's linked down below. J O N L U C fifteen. If you want to get fifteen percent off anything, and um, yeah, it's a real nice T shirt. It's literally that brand new, never been worn. Beauty, nice one, Sean. So I am going to start with box H. We have got some special caps in it for any Formula One fans. Look at how many Kimi Raikkonen hats we've got in here. Um, so this is the hat that Matt has actually bought. I'm not sure which style it is. So I've just got to double check. I believe it is that one. Let's make sure they're adult because I've got some junior ones as well. Um, I've sold two of these. So yeah, pick two out. So shout out to Matt for getting one. We sold one for 37 99 and one for 33 99 So someone got a little bit better discount. Should have tried it on Matt. I'm not sure if Matt used the code on that. He might use the 10% code. Um, but yeah, shout out to Matt, shout out to the other dude, whoever you are, somewhere in the world. Yeah, wouldn't they go up and buy you because he's retired? Yeah. Because they keep them nice. Yeah, they'd be real nice. Um, They'll retain, retain their value. So that's the actual price I paid there, 29 AED, which is cool. I'll actually take that sticker off. I'll make sure I take that sticker off. Um, well, it's not on that one, but it's on this one. Beautiful cap though, shout out to Kimmy. Also in H, we have got a Audi air freshener. Boom, got that on the car boot. Oh no, I actually got that off Cody. And surprisingly, I sold it for 10.99. Mad. It's always definitely worth looking out for like obscure stuff, especially to do with cars as well. Uh, but yeah, 10.99 for that one. There you go. In box K, we have got this. Kiss plush. Got this for like three quid on Vinted, I think. Um, the demon and we sold it for 17.99 i believe let's have a look 
Type in KISS. Da, 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 da. Yep, $17.99. Next sale is this Maxi Peruna dress. We got $19.99 for that. Nice. Paid about four quid. Shout out to Paul. He picked up a couple of Alien games off me. Scary one, that one. Um, he paid £9.89 for those. Took an offer. So, um, yeah, appreciate you, dude. Enjoy the games. Right, over in box M, we've got this bloody bowl that I've had for donkeys. Sold it for nine quid. Paid like a quid for it. I was thinking, oh, just take it off. And then, you know, lo and behold, it's sold. And it's better than nothing, isn't it? So, nine pound. Boom. Nine British pounds. So, over to the new rack. We have got this Sony DVD recorder. Sold it for 30 quid. Not too bad. Hello? Hi. Um, I actually don't remember picking it up, but um, yeah, 30 quid. We sold this Transformer that we actually got from that big old vintage purchase when we got all those cars, the Star Wars sets, and also, what was it? That Ferrari there. Um, yeah, Combiner Wars Silver Bolt. I think we got £30 for that one. Indeed we did, yeah, 29 99 Next up, we have got the Art of Overwatch, big old hardback book. I think we paid £3 on vintage for that, and we sold it for 17 99 back on eBay. We ended up paying £70 for this Artist XP pen. As you can see there, looks like a nice piece of kit to be fair. It was in good condition, all boxed up, and we sold it for £230. So, real nice markup on that. Um, yeah, definitely a brand to look out for. I got a tenner for these 14 Biff Kip Chipper. Biff Chipper Kip? I'm not sure. Um, these books here. I do loads of little bundles of these, and we got a tenner. For those ones there. And then the last two sales, we have got some ASOS chunky heart boots. I've got a few pairs of them in stock. And then another one of these brown patchwork trenches as well. These cost me £5 a piece. And the boots sold for £31.49. The coat sold for £22.49. So very good markups on those. Very happy. So from last Monday to Sunday, I listed 142 new items. And that is why we're selling like we're selling. Um, so yeah, that's my one advice to you. Get listing and just do a lot of it every day. And um, yeah, the results will come in. If you did enjoy today's video, leave a like, leave a nice comment down below. Hit subscribe if you are new. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.